Welcome to module eight. Congratulations, you are done. So finish strong. This week, you are creating a social media post. You're promoting your exhibit that your project was about in module seven. So think social media. What hooks you when you're scrolling mindlessly, assuming you do so mindlessly? I scroll mindlessly until I see an interesting picture. So pick an interesting picture. Also, choose your words carefully. You're limited to 280 characters, so even your spaces count. It's not words, it's characters. Individual letters, um, spaces, punctuation, these are all characters. So, be catchy with your phrasing and your picture picking. One picture, 280 characters, that's your post. Then, follow the prompts in the assignment to have good replies to your peers. Discussions rely heavily on interaction. And this assignment requires you to reply to two of your peers. Also, you should be cementing, tying the past to the present. Why does that matter? Well, in 1968, there was a gentleman named Hubert Humphrey. He was President Johnson's vice president. Why don't we know him? Because he lost the 1968 election to a name we know, Richard Nixon. So, there are always similarities. President Johnson decided late in 1968 not to seek re-election. So then he threw his support behind his vice president. Does that remind you of anything you've seen in the news re recently? President Biden has decided late in the election not to continue running. He has thrown his support behind his vice president. Will history repeat? Do you see commonalities? Always, history repeats in different ways. It's not always exactly the same, but it's important to be able to recognize those characteristics so we can help drive a positive outcome. All right, have a great week. Class ends on Sunday the 27th. I will post final grades Tuesday, October 29th. So if you're missing assignments, get them in. If you hit a hang up and we need to talk about an incomplete, please let me know. Have a great week and I'll see you in the discussions.